Hi again, everybody. If you find yourself counting the days until football this fall, I've got some good news for you. This year, you'll have even more football at your disposal. Local fans may even get to see some past and future NFL players competing in their own backyard. Eastwood Field will have a new football tenant this fall. The brand new Mahoning Valley Brawlers were officially introduced as the newest franchise in the Fall Experimental Football League. The business model of the FXFL is to form partnerships with minor league baseball club. Uh, the Mahoning Valley market operates a great, uh, they, they do a great job with the minor league baseball team here. Uh, it's a winning partnership. And it's also in a state that has a very rich uh, uh, football tradition as it, as it relates to uh, uh, producing NFL talent. So we felt like this was a good, good fit for us. Which was not the case in recent years with the now defunct Mahoning Valley Thunder in the arena ranks. But I think what differentiates us most from other failed leagues of the past is the product that we have. And I think fans are going to be real impressed with what they see on the field. We're going to try to get some local products from Youngstown State and Ohio State, guys that have been with NFL teams, uh, uh, you know, with our Mahoning Valley team. But I think the fans, if for nothing else, they need to come out and just firsthand and see the product that's going to be on the field. 98% of the league's players have at least some NFL experience, mostly as undrafted free agents released at the end of training camp. Case in point, former New York Jets draft choice, Todd Boy. Trying to find a man in the end zone, he does! Touchdown! He played in the FXFL last fall and has since signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers as a backup. However, there remains no official relationship between the FXFL and the NFL. From a football standpoint, it'll be played under basically NFL rules. So it's gonna be, it's gonna look like an NFL field, an NFL product. The other thing is that's very unique is most, a lot of our players will play in the NFL the same season. Right now there's a real problem in the National Football League in developing young talent, something that even a practice squad doesn't address. One thing that's crucial when you're, when you're trying to develop young players is to get live game repetitions. And that's something right now the NFL does not have. I know it's of interest to them. I've had several conversations with them as it relates to the FXFL. So I could see a partnership potentially down the road and I'm, I, I definitely would hope for that. With just four teams in the league, the Brawlers will play a grand total of five games. Three of those coming at home. Mahoning Valley makes its debut Saturday, October 3rd at Eastwood Field against Hudson Valley out of Fishkill, New York. Up next on the docket, finding a coach, and I'm told they'll have that done in about two weeks.